Speaking of blessed, what's going on here? You guys are blessed with a lot of hair. <laughs> uh, this is a fraternity picture. Oh my God, where do you get these? <laughs> Listen, if this career doesn't work out for me, I'm gonna need a job at your coffee shop, all right? So. Yeah, uh, that was uh, Northern Michigan in 1973, that's 74. That. Dude, Man. you look like you're in MASH. Yeah, <laughs> I probably was. <laughs> I hide these pictures. <laughs> because sports were your thing, right? Yeah, uh, I, went to, I went to college on a football scholarship and uh, got hurt in my freshman year and ended up not playing, but that's how I got to college. I, my parents couldn't afford to send me. A couple of basketball players came from your school. I know John Spider Sally, who played here, went to your high school. Yeah. Um, it's crazy. World Be Free also went to your high school. Unbelievable that you know this stuff. <laughs> but, but you owned a basketball team. I did right? at you one owned, point. And when you bought the Seattle Sonics, I'm a big NBA fan, and I was, as much as I hate the Sonics, as I should, rivalry, um, I was excited because I thought, oh, maybe the Sonics are going to work. And if anybody could make it work, it was you. But there was a moment at the press conference when you were out where yeah. I thought you were sticking it to people going, you know what? You guys didn't help screw you. Did it feel that way for you when you got out of the team? Uh, buying an NBA team was a dream that I never thought would be possible for someone like me. But it also turned out to be a nightmare. Uh, it was not the right thing for me at that time in my life. And I just thought the, the culture of professional sports and athletes who are making that much money, it just uh, was inconsistent with my ability to kind of alter the the uh, mentality, and I just, I, I just got out. I tried to sell it to a local person in Seattle. Nobody wanted to buy it. We ended up selling it to someone from Oklahoma, and he ended up moving the team. Yeah. And they've got a great team now. Yeah, but I can't, yeah. I can't support them, no matter how good they are, yeah. because they're not the Sonics, right? Yeah. Would yeah. you ever be an owner of a team again? No, a professional sports <laughs> is not for me. <laughs> not your team? No, not uh, for me. But I'd read stuff about the culture of, young, of the young NBA player. What does that mean to you? Well, I think uh, when you're 18, 19, 20 years old and you're making millions of dollars and uh, you don't have the right support staff around you and you've got people who are trying to take advantage in one way or another, it's very hard, I think, to come to grasp of that. And most people are not mature enough to handle it. And at the same time, they're trying to win games. And sometimes the motivation isn't there mm -hmm. to win. Uh, it just was inconsistent with my value system.